Today I am talking about a naturally occurring substance in the body that can improve memory, mood, cognition, insomnia, and, and lowers the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Intrigued? Hmm. Interested? Yeah. If you have a pulse, you probably are, so stick with me and I'm breaking it all down today. So, hey there, beautiful people. This is Lindy Ford, registered dietitian, clinical and licensed nutritionist, and nutrition detective. Please, please, please like this video if you do, and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with someone you know who is struggling with memory and just wants to, wants to protect their brain and improve their brain power. That's probably about 99% of the people out there. Follow me on all the social media platforms except for Twitter and I have a new newsletter coming out. I only do this quarterly. You won't get spammed with anything. And so if you are interested, go to my website and you will see a place where you can sign up for that. So what is this nutrient? It is the little known phosphatidylserine. So what is it? What is it? It is a fatty substance called a phospholipid. It covers and protects all of your cells, but especially the ones in the brain. It helps the cell to send messages to each other. It increases the cell signaling. Also, it increases certain neurotransmitters that keep your memory sharp. So here's a big problem. Phosphatidylserine declines in our ripe old 20s. It is not phosphatidylcholine, that's better known, but we need phosphatidylcholine to synthesize phosphatidylserine. And, and that, is, that is another video altogether. But I wanna give you all of the benefits that I have studied and seen good research on. I know there's more, but I really feel like this is the solid research benefits. And I am, I am saving my very favorite and maybe your very favorite to the last. So number one, it fights stress because it reduces cortisol. It is in some adaptogenic formulas, which actually help to lower cortisol. And I'm going to tell you about one that I use every single day, and that's coming up. Number two is it improves insomnia. This is the same kind of idea that it lowers cortisol. As we go through the day, our cortisol peaks, and then at night, it actually lowers to help us to relax and to go to sleep. And so that's why phosphatidylserine is in a lot of nighttime formulas. Number three, it protects from Alzheimer's disease. And that is the study that I looked at is if it is combined with a high quality omega-3 fatty acid like the one that I use and I have been using for the past 10 years, the Nordic Naturals Pro Omega 2000. Number four, it improves attention span and concentration and those who present with ADHD. We don't really know why, but it's probably because it helps with that cell-to-cell -cell signaling in the brain, and it could be also the reduction of cortisol. Now, this is my favorite benefit. Number five is that it improves cognition and memory in young and old. There are multiple studies that back this up. But we know that people who took larger amounts of phosphatidylserine in actually in a supplement form did better in memory tests. It helped both healthy and older people who weren't showing cognitive decline. It can slow, halt, or even reverse the progression of age-related cognitive decline. Do I hear a big shout and an amen, right? Now, y'all know, y'all know me by now that I am all about eating a nutrient-dense diet and getting our nutrients from food first. But here's the problem with phosphatidylserine. The foods that are rich in it are, number one, would be bovine cow brain, number two is mackerel, number three is chicken heart, number four is herring, number five is eel, number six and seven are pig spleens and kidneys. Have you had yours today? Well, I haven't had any of those foods today, though they're not bad, they're not bad, but those are historically consumed and we just, in our modern diets, we don't consume those types 
types of food any, anymore. So supplementation is probably a good idea. And of course, I'm gonna say this with any supplement, you need to talk to your healthcare practitioner before taking any supplements, because every physiology is different. So what is the dosage of phosphatidylserine? It all depends on your condition, and it really depends on who you talk to. Practitioners are all over the board on this, but I really believe by looking at all the recommendations and looking at the studies that 300 to 500 milligrams a day with food is the best way to do it. You could take it during the day, but again, it will relax you a little bit because it lowers cortisol. So a lot of people like to take it in the evening, and that is what I have been doing for years and years. I've been taking Cortisol Manager. Now, I take the Cortisol Manager that is the allergen-free, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But the other one that I have just been turned on to is uh, this supplement called Body Bio PC. Okay, this is a phospholipid compound, and all of them work in synergy with one another, but it, the compound literally has, per two capsules, has 1,300 milligrams of a bunch of them. So we don't know how much, but it probably has at least 300 in it. So I am starting to take this every day, and I can tell a difference. I actually went and bought the large size. Any of these supplements, I'm gonna link a link below. You can get for 20% off my Wellabate dispensary. So I'm really excited about that. So you, you go ahead and set up a one-time account and then you can use my 20% off. So a huge caveat though, all the products that I just showed you are non-GMO soy free. And that is what you need to look for. I do not like soy products. I do not, that is 90% of them are GMO products. I like the sunflower. It's gonna cost you a little bit more of the sunflower oil, but look for that. So this nutrient, phosphatidylserine, it fights stress, it improves insomnia, it protects from Alzheimer's disease, it increases the attention span in people who are suffering with ADHD and ADD, and most importantly, it increases the cognition and memory in young and old. And I say, sign me up. What do you say? I'll see you in the next video.